Okay, you are live. Fifty four hundred. Hi. 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 It's launch day. It's launch day. It's launch day. How's everybody doing? Can everybody hear me? Is this how this works? <laughs> Can someone tell me how it works? Can you guys tell me how this works? Um, well, I guess I'll, we're waiting for Bobby. She's somewhere out in the metaverse. Um, and we're here at the office. It's launch day. I will tell you what we've been doing this morning. We have been doing radio interviews. Um, we have been creating content for social media. This is a new venture for me. The world of social media is very, um, vast and um, unfamiliar. So uh, thank you for being patient with me. Um, we have been eating donuts from dough. Um, very delicious. I had a Boston cream and it was excellent. Um, and what else? And now we're waiting for Bobby Brown. This one does. Strong lunch day. Um, trying to think of some of the things we'll be talking about. I'm guessing we're going to be talking about new beginnings. I think Bobby is the queen of new beginnings and she's reinvented herself so many times. Um, and we will be talking about what it is to have a startup and how it is to launch your own brand. I'm curious about what her experience has been launching also during the pandemic, she launched Jones Reynolds, which I have been using and loving. Um, so thank you, Bobby, for sending me these delightful products. And also a clean line, just like the outset. I can show you guys our product line. So we have um, five SKUs. Uh, they are uh, essentials to to elevate your everyday. Um, and I always so start with our cleanser. Everything is incredibly gentle. It is vegan, not allergen free, gluten free, cruelty free. But I promise you, there's actually stuff in the bottle. Um, and then uh, followed by our prep serum. So this is kind of like prepares your skin barrier to receive day cream and uh, we also have the night cream which is my favorite night cream I've ever used. Um, I really I wanted something that felt like um, it was just like this delicious treat um, at night you could still enjoy the next day like you wake up and you have that dewiness still on your skin um, so it's it's like incredibly hydrating. I was actually using it as a hand cream <laughs> because it's so dry in New York. I mean, you can do that. It's a very luxurious hand cream. And then I have um, our Expression Lines cream, which I just started using about a year ago. Oh, oh and there you are. But I can't hear you. I can't hear you either, but you look great. Hi. Um... Let's see, how can I hear you? Can you hear me? I still don't hear you. No, I can't hear you. I could draw little note cards out and write them like that. 
You can hear me. So this is also a lesson in IT, <laughs> which I'm failing at. What about a headset? Should I get a headset? Yes, that's not going to work here. This is why I can't, I'm very bad at doing social media, I can't figure it out. Hi, Tommy. Maybe we should just speak with our eyes. Okay, she. Does anybody have any suggestions how I can hear Bobby? Okay. Hi. There you are. Hi. Hi. Let's talk Here about resilience. Let's start with resilience and not giving up. <laughs> not giving up on this and not Instagram live. How's yeah. it going? It's going. It's going. It's easier when I'm in my office, but I am in a home somewhere, somewhere doing it myself. So we figured oh. it out. It's great to see you and it's so great to talk with you. And I got all these Jones Road products this morning. Uh, and I'm wearing one of your delightful, like lip glossy, delicious, uh, very uh, smooth. I think it's in like a mocha color and I love it. Yeah. Thank uh, you for sending that. My pleasure. And I've been playing with yours, which are such beautiful formulas. Thank you. Has it really taken you three years? It's taken about, well, I, I have been working on this for about five years. And, um, and then it really took meeting my co-founding partner, Kate Foster, before I could actually like push it, you know, up the mountain. Um, it's just, it's, and, and you know this from all of your experience, I think, but you, it's just, when you're doing something that involves, I think this many different moving pieces, it's like impossible to do it. You just need a, you need a lot of support. And, um, you know, even I was curious about, cause you launched during the pandemic, which has been crazy. Um, and we're launching now and like developed this over the pandemic. Um, you know, it's definitely presented unique challenges for sure. Um, and like during the whole formulation process, that was, that was also, uh, you know, it was it was a unique unique set of circumstances. Like we did a lot of FedExing, and <laughs> thank God for FedEx. And it was like testing out products, you know, with whoever was around, um, which wasn't a lot of people at the time. And you're just kind of like, you know, figuring it out. I think I, I I'm curious to know also like if you had what your formulation process was like, also like working in this. Sure. Well, you know, the first time I did this 30 something years ago, and by the way, I was a new mom also. So I know, you know, what it's like trying to do a lot of things and, you know, be present for your family. I had no idea what I was doing this time. I know it's doing. So I was able to work on formulas with the chemist, like hands on where I didn't get to do that when I was part of a big brand for so many years. So I love formulating products. I'm a huge, you know, a proponent of things that not only work well, but feel good on the skin. So, you know, what's, what's interesting for me, but hopefully you know, you'll figure out, it's not that different, I'm guessing, from making these when you're producing and in charge, because you have to just figure things out and be a little bit open and try things and not be afraid. So I don't know, you know, if what challenges you're going to face. You just launch, but there always are. Yeah, it's it's been really, you know, I it's been a lesson in not sweating the small stuff. I think because that can 
really like bring everything down. And I think similarly to production, like it's a lot of problem solving and some of it's just kind of in the moment and on the spot. And I, I think when you are open to a creative collaboration with your partners and your team, like the best ideas rise to the top. And we all, you know, we have a small office um, here in New York and everybody has their moments and they're like, you know, stressed out about something. And I think it's such a, it's, we all have to kind of lift one another out of those moments. And, you know, just now, even right before coming on, like, you know, I was like upset about like something that wasn't, you know, it's like, so again, we're dealing with the supply chain issues and it's just, it's a whole set of unique challenges and, you know, just being frustrated with that part of the process. And like one of the girls was like, it's all good. This is part of the course. You're going to have these bumps in the road and, you know, we're all here to support one another. And I, I love that about this industry too. I, it's very different um, than I thought it was going to be. I, I, and even, you know, being able to talk to you, Bobby, about this and how welcoming you've been, it's such a, it, it's really, it's so funny because it feels like we all talk about these beauty secrets and that's a big part of like, you know, when I was growing up, it was all about like, you know, sharing beauty secrets and, you know, not telling a person what you actually use and all that stuff. But it actually is much more transparent and welcoming than I ever could have imagined. Well, in the first career I had, there was no one that would ever, you know, lift me up from a competitive brand. And now, it's different all the all the female today is the first day of women's you know women's month so all the female lift each other and we support each other i make care make skin they're different there's a way for everyone to work together and you know the more we're successful separately the more we're successful together so i think that's a big difference now and and when i when i Yeah. Oh, I was saying I can't. You missed. All. I was saying that when I posted something, and I'm sorry if you guys heard me. The the positive outpouring of people saying how much they love you and how excited they are that you're launching something and they will support you no matter what you do, is is like such a gift that I hope you realize not everyone has. You know. So even people were saying they're just going to buy everything with your name. So you have. You have a very, very, very positive reputation, and that goes a long way. Thank you. I, I you know, it, I think in a way, it's almost, um, you know, there that there's a responsibility that comes with that. Also, like we are at, at the outset, we are, you know, very discerning. To, it's, like yeah. that, it's like that startup. I don't know. I don't, but I keep talking, by the way. You know, you keep talking because maybe someone's listening to you. Oh, my gosh. I'm listening. I'm listening. I was no, just saying, like, there's a, there's a big responsibility, yeah. I think, that comes with, like, you know, obviously I'm doing something completely different. And, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, this is – it would have been easy to – you know, early on, I got a lot of, not pressure, but there was definitely a push to, like, license my name and exist within, like, a larger corporation. Um, and I met with a lot of, a lot of those guys, like, the, you know, the big, big wigs. And, and um, 
you know, I could have kind of just cherry picked my, like what I, my responsibility and how I wanted to participate. Um, but it became clear to me that like, I wasn't going to be able to do what I wanted to because a, a lot of those larger corporations, not that they don't have, you know, great stuff that they're doing, but they are scared of certain things. And like even having a DTC brand was scary yeah. of building something from the ground up was scary or creating a clean, right. like transparent line was scary. And I, you know, I felt like I wanted to feel like everything I put in the bottle was something I would recommend to my family or put on, use on my own skin. And I want, and I also wanted to feel like whatever built-in audience I would have from my career as an actor, that they would also be, they could know that they were not, that that was, I wasn't taking advantage of that relationship. You know, I wasn't counting on it or like leaning on it, um, you know, in order to like hawk a bunch of <laughs> random products. Like it's been, um, you know, Made the right, you've definitely made the right choice because I, I know what it's like to not be the boss and I know what it's like to be the boss. And, you know, there's no question with Jones Road, I'm doing exactly what I believe in and what I want and there's no committees, you know, so I, I think it's great. And, you know, I'd, I'd love to, you know, one day know more about your partner because you can't do it by yourself, you know, and you're only better when you have people around you and uh, you happen to have my one of my best PR people working for you now. So Alexis is amazing. She's tough as nails, but got but oh, yeah, her, so you're amazing, lucky to have her. amazing team. And she's been I, I was actually curious because we've been doing all this social media stuff, which is new to me. I've not ever really been involved in social media before. And I know like I was talking to her about how Jones were like exploded overnight on TikTok and how has that been for you? Like, I'm guessing you're obviously a private person and, you know, how has your relationship been with social media? Obviously great for your brand. It's a whole other world. Yeah. Well, it's been weird. I have to say the TikTok thing is weird, but it literally has like quadrupled our sales, which is amazing. And, and I'm not dancing, you know, in little shorts. I'm literally giving makeup and empowerment tips, which there's an audience of women over 40 and 50 that want this real information. So it was great. But of course, now we have out of stock issues and, you know, creates, you know, customer service issues. So it's all part of building a business. And, you know, I, I love it. If I didn't love it, I would be, you know, have to find a hobby. And Although you do have a lot of hobbies. other hats that you wear. Like I know you have a hotel, which is crazy. Um, you know, you've started all these other ventures. Like, do you have any, what's your kind of like blue sky next venture? Do you think that you'll expand Jones Road in different ways? Like, can you see it being a brand that kind of encompasses like other lifestyle? wellness stuff or I was I was in the wellness industry I had a wellness brand and I walked away from it it did not bring me joy like makeup does so no makeup skincare brushes I don't need to do socks or underwear or you know home home things I don't want to put my name on things I want to I'm an entre I'm a serial entrepreneur and I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I know, you know, look, I'm in my who launched the makeup brand at 63 years old, which is, you know, who would have guessed it? You know, my husband said that I would only be successful if I was going to align with a celebrity or, you know, or an influencer. And I didn't listen. And, you know, I guess, you know, people want, still want to hear what I have to say. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'm someone who's open because you, you never know what's going to come. Who knows? You may be wearing outset underwear in a couple of years. <laughs> oh, yeah, which will be fun. People did want to know what else you're thinking about in this range. Are you thinking about makeup? Are you thinking about clothes? And where did the name come um, from? Everybody well, I, as far as the name goes, you know, like, it, as you know, naming is a very um, exhaustive process and basically every single name has been taken or it's like 
been sullied or it's got some other strange meaning or, you know, um, right. I knew I wanted something that felt like it could stand on, on its own and something that felt like it sort of already was there, you know, had like a familiarity to it. Um, and I, you know, our, we were talking a lot about our, you know, kind of brand mantra, which is, you know, elevating. <laughs> and yeah, um, I can see you. I it was actually Kate that had this idea of the outset, um, which I couldn't believe was not already taken. But I just loved the I loved the positive positivity about it. I felt like it was a really hopeful word, um, and I felt it was such a nice like I loved the look of it and the architecture of the word and. Um, yeah, so we just we just got really really lucky um, with her stroke of genius. She has many, um, and that was a good that was a, that was a really powerful one. And um, I don't know. I think also the idea of creating a name that felt like we could go in different directions. There's a lot of things that I'm interested in. Obviously, like getting this right, these <laughs> five skews um, is is the first step. I could see. I I love color. I always have. I have. You know, I, I've been made up by some of the greats, um, you know, for my career. And I, uh, you know, grew up watching my mom, like, transform herself into this, you know, glass on in front of her vanity. Mm -hmm. And so maybe, um, maybe color, I love fragrance, you know. Um, that was a big part of the... All of our products are fragrance free, um, but I definitely, when we started, I did think about, you know, what could we create a signature fragrance for all of these things? And I don't know, I'm just the kind of person that, I, I felt like it should be something that more people could use, as many people could use, and so we did go the fragrance free route, which a lot of people appreciated. Um, but yeah, who knows, yeah. who knows? I mean, yeah. There's, there, I can see it going in a lot of different directions. Obviously, body um, would be a great next piece, too. Um, yeah, for sure. So I know that you're a lot, you're doing things with Dress for Success. I used to be on the board, and it's an organization very close to my heart. So congratulations. Yeah, I've been you chose really fortunate them. enough to be named an ambassador for them recently and they have been so fantastic it's such a wonderful organization um you know with a low administrative cost and really you know all, most of their donation is going to helping foster new beginnings as well for women particularly that are now looking to get you know rejoin the workforce and um you know it's it's they've been fantastic and we have been able to partner with them we partnered with One Tree Planted, which is another great organization, and they're helping to reforest in California right now. Um, so, yeah, finding those organizations that do have low administrative costs and are aligned with our vision of, you know, again, fostering new beginnings has been one of the more rewarding parts of this process, you know, figuring out that piece. Um, yeah, yeah, um, you know, and I, I think now, like, conscious consumerism is just some, like, it's here to stay. I, I remember, oh, God, however many years, it was a long time ago now when Bono was launching Red, um, you know, he, that word or that phrase, conscious consumerism, was like, a, a, you know, I never heard that before, and it was, I remember he was describing to me, you know, his partnerships with Amex, his partnership with Apple. And I just like, of course, only Bono could do something that felt like so enormous like that. It was just unheard of. And, you know, it, it made such a difference, obviously, for the Global Fund and continues to do so. But I think it's, it started a, like, trend, if you want to call it that, that, like, we could never turn back from. And that piece of, you know, what your cause is going to be is such an important part of building your brand. You know, it's like, it was really one of the first mm -hmm. things we talked about, you know, it was like, okay, how can we, how are we going to, 
affect positive change, you know, in other in other ways. Um, and you know, I, I I know how, you know, that's something that you have been like hugely in front of for your entire career. Um, but it's it's really like it's wonderful that consumers are now like demanding that, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, especially you have such a huge platform on so many levels. It's amazing to see, you know, doing good with it instead of using it for things that I think a lot of celebrities probably could do a better job. So, you know, that's amazing. I've heard about you and brand years from um, a friend of mine, uh, Matt Higgins, who I know you're friends with. So he's been very <laughs> getting me excited to hear. I'm happily, I'm so happy to finally connect. I'm Thank here if you so need much. me for anything. I wish you so much, so much luck. You're not going to need luck, but any questions, you're welcome to reach out. And, you know, congratulations Thank and you welcome so much, to the Bobby. And, industry. And congratulations to you again and again and again. And we are like loving this Jones Road. So it's awesome. Thank uh, you. If, and if, yeah. If you have if you have this magic hour, that's my fave. So make sure that we sent it to you. It just we just got it back in stock. It and I need some magic. It's a magic, magic, so. magic hour right now. <laughs> uh, Thanks, Great day. Big kiss. Bye. Bye.